Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have more nonsense coming out of the mainstream gaming industry. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is now coming from a potentially former Riot artist, a.k.a. someone who worked on League of Legends, apparently calling Grums out. I have a three-post spread over here kind of talking about little things that he's making up, which are basically excuses as to why the latest character in Star Wars Outlaws is so unbelievably ugly. What is that? Now, I gotta admit, some of these excuses are really just, like, I guess cope would be the best word to explain this entire thing going down right now. Because, let's be real, if you don't have the skill to pull off making a female character look female, then perhaps you should not be the one making a female character to begin with. So, let's get into this video, guys. But, of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. So we have a post here from Grums, and it says, Former Riot, uh, call, Riot artist calls me out and attempts to explain why Star Wars Outlaws looks the way that it does. Very long and boring post about how hard art is and scan shows too much detail. And then he complains he was forced to make Riot's character look more beautiful that he fought against it. The gamers are basically misogynistic because they want women with makeup like the real life actors wear daily and only one jerk off beat. That's it. That's what the entire screen boils down to. Saved you the read. Now, essentially, whenever someone uses this argument, let me go with the beginning picture first. Whenever someone uses this argument about you just want porn bait, right? You just want jerk off bait. I immediately dismiss what they're saying because they're coming from a place of disingenuous nature. They don't actually believe a single word that they're saying. They know that the majority of people are not looking for jerk off bait. Okay. There's a reason why there's free porn sites that you can access. You don't need your video game to do it for you. And if you did need a video game character to do it for you, there's R34s all over the place for you to access on those free sites. So don't give me this bullshit about oh you just want to jerk off while you're playing video games this we know that that is a disingenuous argument ultimately it comes from someone and usually it's the same kind of someone who all they all think the same they all look the same there is no diversity of thought in a single section of usually these gaming developer studios they all think and act the same way and this person look what he says I'll fucking bite. A threat about making female characters in games. This idiot slash grifter slash probably feigning outraged doughboy really doesn't seem to get it, even apparently as a developer. So it seems like the more names they throw out there, the more validity there is to their argument. Little do they know they look stupid. Too long did it read. Making the nuances of a gentler face can be real tough one in game art. Oh, okay. So apparently, according to Michael, Michael, I don't know his last name, don't care. According to Michael, an artist at Riot, or used to be an artist at Riot, it's harder to make a gentler face. It's harder to make a female face in, in video games. It's hard. It's hard. You guys just don't understand. You don't understand how hard it is. We, we have to make it look more manly because we it's just hard. It's very hard. Well, apparently... There is many, 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 many examples that can be made from Eastern developers that seem to have zero issue with making gentler faces look gentle, ladies and gentlemen. How many Japanese characters do you see looking ultra feminine in video games? How many Korean characters do you see looking ultra feminine in video games? And yet they don't seem to struggle in the slightest. They seem to be doing it perfectly fine. Why is it that you are struggling so much? Are you just not talented enough? Is that the conversation you want to have? You want to say it's very hard to do it. Nobody asked you if it's hard to do it. We asked you quite simply, can you do it? Can you actually do it? Can you pull it off? If you cannot pull it off, nobody's going to fault you for it. But you should not be making female characters if you actually can't do it properly in the first place. That's the whole, you know, hiring based off merit thing and not hiring based off diversity, right? So if you don't have the skills to get the job done, then you shouldn't be in the job in the first place. But these are the kind of people that will try to tell you otherwise. Then it says, there's a point in that dipshit's original post in that men don't seem to be as edited as a female source. That's a whole fucking culture thing on top of production we forgive men for having structure in their faces chiseled sharp and we gasp when women have a wrinkle well listen it's the same argument where we talk about feminizing men right when you see a lot of men characters and there's not too many but when you see male characters that look ultra feminine we kind of go uh, what the hell's going on with this right when they have a very angular face very soft face no facial hair whatsoever almost looks damn near like a female 
people will call it out. People will absolutely roast it 100%. The only difference and the only problem is those are few and far between. That doesn't happen nowhere near as often as women who are beautiful being turned ugly in video games. And now we know why. You basically admit it. You don't have the skill to pull it off. And you don't, you want, you don't want me to think it's activism. Okay, I won't think it's activism, but you got one of two choices. It's either activism or you don't have the skill to do it and you should not be in the job. One of those two got to be true. Or maybe both of them can be true. But ultimately, both of them are going to make you unhappy to ad admit it. Then it says, case in point, when I worked on Fiora Rework, there was a shit fit uh, had by gamers when we gave her a unique face, one that was stylized, but one that showed structure. So much of a shit fit that we caved to the demands. I did this paint over to make her more pretty. And well, I mean, you did. You did. I don't know what you're doing with this chiseled ass face over here, but you definitely gave her a chiseled face that was softer and prettier on the right side. So... I don't really see where you went wrong here, and I think you definitely did the right thing in terms of caving to your, your, your fans. It says, I was pissed about this, and to be transparent, the Splash team didn't want to make the changes because it was such a small difference in the changes, but here we are. Defending simply chiseling a woman's face who was supposed to be severe looking. They're severe looking, and then there's just straight up, like, ugly. I don't know what else to say other than that, but you can see the clear difference, especially in the cheekbones on the one on the right and just small changes. Again, you admit that there's small changes, very easy to do. You should be able to do it no matter what. Now, I've been seeing this picture being tossed around online with uh, the actual actress. I'm assuming it's a very opaque version of her real life picture being transcended on top of her game picture. This thing is such a disingenuous comparison. The reason why is because when they do this, they purposely make the original picture so opaque that it can look like it matches the facial structure at least somewhat, but it doesn't. You could tell by her chin. She doesn't have a butt chin, ladies and gentlemen. You can tell she doesn't have a butt chin. If you look at the, the actual actress, this is not real. This is not even on her chin. And the fact that it's on the side of the real picture, that just goes to show that it's so opaque that the original game picture is still seeping through on this original picture here that's how you know it's fake that's how you know that it's not genuine if they actually took her real picture and instead of making it see-through they actually just made it where it's fully on there and you got a half and half photo you're going to realize this is not anywhere close to being the same and it's something that they don't want to admit then Michael says, in Back to Women, they are given a raw deal because gamers lose their shit when it's really the actors not wearing makeup. In the game, short uh, shots versus film slash TV context. Like, dudes, I get you don't just want enough women to know makeup sculpts the face. Listen, can we stop? Can we stop at that? The whole, like, oh, well, the actresses are not wearing makeup when they're getting scanned, so that's why it's difficult. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you seriously, are you kidding me right now? I've seen this woman without makeup, and she doesn't look nowhere near this picture that you guys made. Whatever the fuck this is, even her without makeup is, quite frankly, way more beautiful than what we're seeing here on the right side. And yes, makeup does contort the face. Makeup does structure the face. But even with the makeup removed, it is still nowhere near the original, uh, the original person. The character is nowhere near it. So just say you didn't want to make the character. Just say you wanted to make your own version of it. You wanted to wipe in her jaw you wanted to give her whatever the fuck that is on her chin i don't even know what that's even called that split chin kind of thing she had very angular eyebrows you wanted to give her straight masculine eyebrows you wanted to give her these bags under her eye. i mean i don't i don't know for whatever reason you wanted to make her that ugly that's that's up to you guys and then the final disingenuous argument that they all love to do ladies and gentlemen is that they'll bring up an old female character from way back when that happens to be a little tomboyish and they'll try to claim that we as gamers or viewers will lose our minds if that character came out today. Ladies and gentlemen, you are being super disingenuous because you are quite simply ignoring two things. Number one, the characters that you are mentioning, <laughs> like this character, for example, from Alien, you are forgetting to mention that she still has very feminine features and she is still very soft even in a movie where she has to be very rugged you can tell there are certain scenes in this movie that showcases her very feminine body her very real feminine body and they don't masculine they don't make it masculine at all not only that you are also ignoring the climate of which this movie came out versus now back when this movie came out they weren't using these characters as some sort of a martyr for social justice they weren't doing that these characters were simply characters that were made it was a creative vision for the person who made the movie and people just watched the movie and decided whether or not they liked it there was no talking about 
about how bad you are if you don't like it. There's no talking about how much you are a bigot or a sexist or a misogynist if you don't like it. They're all, the entire climate is different now than it was way back when, when this movie came out. So to compare the two is extremely disingenuous, and it goes to show just how full of shit you actually are. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.